guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Today we are doing a full face using Silk Oil of Morocco. I've used a few of their products in the past and really, really love them, but I haven't actually used like the extent that we're going to be using today. So this is a sponsored video, so thank you so much to Silk Oil for working with me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this stunning, glossy, glam look. So firstly, I'm going to be priming my face. I'm going to be using the Argan Antioxidant Primer. And this packaging, oh, oh, hello. This looks really nice. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, okay. Take this little plug out, that might help. I'm just gonna do one pump and we'll see. Oh, okay, maybe one and a half pumps. I've got a big face. Mmm, smells good. It smells really nice. It feels nice and hydrating. Just kind of like, almost like a hydrating balm in a way. It's definitely not like those silky, kind of pore filling textures, which I actually don't really like those primers too much. I just find, I don't know, it doesn't let my makeup absorb into my skin, really. I just find when I use those, my makeup kind of sits on top in a way. That actually feels quite nice. There just happens to be a fly buzzing around right now and Hazel just woke up from a nap. She is like directly behind me. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with foundation. Now, I haven't used a foundation like this in such a long time. Like normally I do tend to stick to liquid foundations. This is their Argan Cream Compact Foundation. So it is a cream foundation. <laughs> that packaging though, oh my gosh, hello. So this is in the shade Ivory, which is light. Open it up. It did have a little kind of seal over it, which I have already peeled off. But yeah, this is basically how it looks and it obviously does come with a mirror. So I am gonna be applying this with there with the silk vegan blending a sponge so I have already got this wet just a little bit squeezed out all the excess and now I'm basically just gonna apply it and we'll just see I'll zoom you guys in oh that is a pretty good match too <laughs> good job guys <laughs> oh my gosh this smells pretty nice actually it's got like a, a florally kind of scent to it so I'm basically just kind of patting this on and then bouncing it over the top just to blend that into my skin. Ooh, that's got quite a nice glow to it. I actually thought considering it was a kind of cream product that it might be quite thick or quite heavy, but it's actually feeling really nice and light and it's got like that kind of glow to it, which is really pretty. I like that. Just gonna lay a tiny bit more just under my eyes around my nose and just make sure it's, bl it's blended down my neck. <laughs> so next up for me, I'm going to do bronzer. So I'm going to be using the Argan 7 in 1 bronzer. This is in the shade Light. <gasps> wow, that packaging though. So this is definitely a loose kind of powder. So I'm just going to tap off some of that into the lid. It did have a little safety seal on it. Might help if I actually open the little grate that's in here. Oh my gosh, I was like tapping for ages. Like, why is nothing coming out? So I'm just gonna go in with one of their vegan powder brushes. This one is one of their bigger ones. And I just like to firstly do a kind of wash of color. I just tapped off the excess. Go around like the high points of my face. Get rid of my forehead. <laughs> oh, oh, really sweetie? Hazel is right here. Oh, oh wow, that is a lot more pigmented than what I thought. Oh, okay. And I'm also gonna go in with one of those small shadow brushes and just contour my nose as well. And just blend that out. I'm also gonna go back in with that sponge and maybe just a tiny bit more of that foundation and just crispen up under here. And I find that gives you just a sharper kind of contour without actually having to add a ton more of contour powder and you end up just looking crazy. I'm now going to apply a blush. Again, this packaging, and I'm not just saying that. Because it's a sponsored video. But because, oh my gosh. And yes, fingers. That's the only bad thing with these kind of like creamy type things is you get fingerprints all over them. But how pretty is that? So this is the... 
This is their Sunset Crush Blush Palette. So this actually comes with four shades and the little slip just fell out of it. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Rainbow Peach. Very, very fishing. And using their blush brush. Just basically applying that above the contour, brushing it into my hairline and just softly kind of on the apples of my cheeks. Any excess I am just lightly gonna dust around my face just to tie it all together. And now I'm gonna highlight, as you guys know, I'm doing this a little bit differently to how I normally do my kind of makeup tutorials because why not just switch it up? So this is the Argan Vegan Highlighting Trio. Ooh. Okay, again, very similar packaging. This one is a little bit more like bronzy, coppery. I'm just removing that. Look at that before I get my fingers all over it. So there's three shades in this. There's Pearl Pop and Pick Me Up. So I'll go in with the shade Pop and just using their fan brush. So obviously everything I'm using today, including the brushes are by Silk Oil. So I've just loaded up the fan brush and basically just on this portion of my face, I'm applying the highlight. Also a little bit on your top lip because why not? That is actually a really, really pretty shade. I'm loving how my skin is looking. So now I'm gonna use a product that I've never, I've never used anything like this before. This is their Fiber Brow Enhancer. This is a shade extra light. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use this on my brows. Wow. So it's like powder with these little fib fibers in it. I mean, the name does say it all, but I'm still surprised. So I'm guessing you just basically brush this onto your brows. That is so quick. <laughs> I'm just finding it like, obviously gives me a little bit more color and just fills in any of those sparse areas, but it's just still really natural. It also kind of makes me look like I've got more brow hair than what I do, which is always a good thing for me. <laughs> I'm now gonna go in with the clear brow fixing gel and just set my brows. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using this pressed eyeshadow palette. This is the Argan Pressed Palette in Forever Bronze. This is how it looks. I will open it up. Oh, it does come with little brushes, but I'm gonna be using the other brushes for this. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, which I think is the shade Sand. And just with a bigger, fluffier brush. Oh, there's a mirror on here. Sweet. I am just basically gonna apply a wash of this over my lid and then dust this up into my brow bone as well. I'm now gonna use this brush. I've never used a brush like this before with eyeshadow, it's an angled one. It seems quite cool. So I'm gonna dip in with this middle color. So it's kind of like a, a coppery shade. And I'm basically, oh, I'm gonna dust this into the crease. has a bit of power to it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I was not expecting that to be so pigmented. And maybe it's just like this brush, like that just gives you the perfect like angular kind of cat look. I don't know, it's awesome. It's almost like you can kind of stamp it on and then go from there. <laughs> So I'm basically just gonna be blending this out, blending it into the sand color that we used and just try and make it look as seamless from crease to brow bone as I can. Still using the same brush, I think this is their contour brush. I like it. I'm gonna go in with the darkest color and just do like a little C in the outer portion of the eye. I mainly wanna keep this in the outer portion so I'm trying hard not to blend it too far into the crease. I just want it really to be quite smoky and sultry in this outer portion. And I'm actually loving this. It's been so long like since I've done just like a nice sultry smoky eye and nothing that's like, you know, cut crease or anything like that. Like, oh, it's good. It's actually nice just to be using three shades, like a simpler look. <laughs> This brush is amazing. 
I need to buy one of these brushes for my kit, I reckon. Because honestly, like, it is so time saving. I've never used a brush like this before. It's amazing. Look at this face I'm making. I just realized I just caught a glimpse of myself in the viewfinder. Like, oh, hello. So to blend it out a tiny bit more, I'm just gonna go back in with that first brush we used. Just in that outer skirt. Blend that baby out. And I just want to drag this same smoky color down along my lower lash line. I'm actually really impressed with these shadows. Never having used them before, they seem to be quite pigmented. I'm not really having any issues with fallout or anything like that. And yeah, it's just, it's true to what it looks like in the pan, which is always a bonus. Just gonna go back with that contouring brush. And I, <laughs> I just want to smudge this out and just kind of blend it in with the outer skirt. So this is actually handy. I'm just using like the pointed section of this brush and just lightly dusting it in that section. I'm having a good makeup day today, my husband. I'm going to pick Lee up from the bus and he's going to be like, what have you been doing? Because normally I'm like mum bum, track pants, <laughs> no bra. <laughs> okay, so next step for me, I'm going to go in with this eye shimmer. Hazel is having a good old time. This is the Argan eye shimmer in the shade Apricot Splice. It looks to me like, ooh, a little pigment. I'm going to be using this. I'm gonna be using this packing brush to pack this on basically in that little inner portion gap that we've left and along the lower lash line as well, just to tie it all together. Oh, oh my gosh, how pretty is that? <gasps> this is applying it dry as well. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I wanna see what this is like wet. I'm just gonna wet my brush with a tiny bit of water. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I don't even know if it's like giving you guys the full dimension. It probably isn't, but in person, oh, it's like liquid, molten, apricot -y tinted gold, like it's stunning. Just gonna buff this little section out a tiny bit just cause I want it to blend in with the other colors. And I want to make sure that this lower lash line is blended as well. Wow. Next, I'm just going to go in and just highlight that brow bone. And now moving on to eyeliner. So this is the Argan Oil Defining Mascara. Wrong one. This is the Argan Lip Gloss. Oh my gosh. Here we are, the Argan Eyeliner in black. This, oh, okay, this is a screw top, which is awesome. I am basically going to buff this along my top lash line. All the way into that inner corner. And then I'm going to also tight line my lower waterline with this as well. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara. <laughs> this is the Argan Oil Defining Mascara. It is in the shade black. Black, yes. It's, oh, it's infused with the Argan Oil, obviously. It defines, thickens, lengthens, and it's easy to remove. Honestly, they do such a good job with their packaging. It's just beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen a mascara that is this pretty. Let's have a look at the wand oh okay it's like a contour kind of shape and it definitely doesn't clump at all which is nice normally i don't know my lashes are just very thin and sparse that i normally have really hard time with mascara it just never you know looks that great but it's actually nice that this one's not clumping probably because it's so new <laughs> I might need to um, get rid of some of my other mascaras. I'm also gonna be applying this to my lower lash line. Next step for me is lashes. These are the Sultry False Lashes by Silk Oil. 
These are human hair hand tied invisible band. Also gonna be using the glue that comes with it too. So while that lash glue is just becoming tacky, very important to let it become tacky before applying it, otherwise it's like a nightmare. I'm just gonna prep my lips and I'm gonna use the Argan Vegan Lip Balm. This is pink and supporting the National Breast Cancer Foundation, which is pretty cool. Again, beautiful. Feels really nice. Super hydrating, but not sticky or anything like that. All right, now I'm gonna go in with these lashes. For the final finishing touch and what brings this look all together for that glossy kind of glamorous finish is the Argan Lip Stain. This is in the shade Raspberry Red. <sighs> Hello pigmentation. So here you have the finished look. It is super glossy, dewy, beautiful, kind of glowy skin and just these smoky, bronzy, coppery eyes. It's mm, gorgeous. I love this look so much. It was very, very easy to achieve. I am going to be listing all of the products that I used in today's video in the description box below. I do also have a discount code for you guys, which is jmadden18. It'll give you guys a massive 15% off. So thank you rainbows for watching. Thank you so much to Silk Oil for partnering up with me for today's video. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the bell and all that jazz. And I will see you guys all in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.